What's up everyone? I'm back with some more Idol Heroes on Void campaign. Second boss invasion, boss difficulty 7. And if you wanna see the winning fight, you can hop on to 550. 5 yeah, 550. I'm gonna put the the marking the marking down, the marking down, markings down, and the timer here on the screen for you guys to see if you wanna just skip it. So let's get on with the video. In here we're just doing some shenanigans. I'm trying to see how far we can go with the bosses and how our heroes perform at their current stage without the the crown without crowns, all right? See if we can do anything good, see if we can do anything else, see if we can get stronger if if our heroes survive because they're getting kind of low HP for the bosses, the boss is kind of killing them around one. If they can't active it's they're basically useless uh, they, if they die around one if they active around one they might survive but then they what that this is what happens they die around another round because one of the heroes died and we kind of get some balanced over over things but as you see this boy's a wreckage even though he keeps stealing attack from him he keeps killing our, our heroes because of the minions look at that he just vanished from existence but we did nice damage, 33%. You see, he has a lot of health, loads of health, as you can see. And then on this testing and testing and testing, I decided to do a few changes and test again since you have three tries daily, you know. But this boss was a nasty one to get, get hold of, of him. And I changed here. And I'm gonna put, put a crown on her because I want her to survive. Because MFF plays a major role with the petals, make the enemy dodge and poisoning the enemy, the enemy so you can hit more. And DTV, I need I put him the CC removal because he didn't have. And the next one, I also changed. If I'm not wrong, I changed PDs, put a crown on her because she was dying too easy and I was like, gosh. And I was checking everybody see if they have control immunity because I don't want any of them getting controlled because the active would mess up our rotation. And it's like, okay, let's try again. Maybe, maybe, just maybe we can do this guy. Just like this. Everybody, everybody more thank you. So let's go in high hopes. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, trying on. And then I just, I noticed that our uh, PD got frozen right off the bat and then uh, and I, I suddenly knew this was over because without the PDs, dodge and healing we had just wrecked, you know, look at that she didn't even act yet, round 2 our hero is triggering on baby wheel even more our DTV because he is unprotected and then she died without doing nothing you know, like, damn, we lost this is a loss again but Never mind, never mind me. Let's keep watching this. And the the CC of the boss just gets gets even stronger. He petrifies the TV, petrifies the wasp, and then is like, uh, yep. If it this wasn't doomed, this is doomed now. <laughs> there is no way we can win this light. Then he she go the boss goes and controls our DGN and keeps controlling us, controlling, controlling, controlling. And we got the PDE control removal and her her core healing us and and also doing the buffs to the enemy and the healing and the really curse and blah 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 whatever it does it's good. We got it. We just don't. But we managed to survive. We take off a chunk of all the boss health because of the MFF makes them die, makes them hit the hits and the dodges. Without that, we just nothing. Just died just like that. And we did like 1% less. And I was like, damn, you're horrible. But but then I saw Rex video. And I was like, man, that guy is not using DGN. He's using uh, the, what's the name of her? She's using, he's using Halora. Cause Halora gives crit damage reduction and our damage reduction to our team. So in, in fact, she makes our heroes our heroes are a little bit tankier but there is one problem with this without dgn our damage lacks a lot because she buffs very much very high the with holy damage and the stuff 
oh main hero main damage dealer main the hero that has the most attack and i was like okay 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 i was pondering here with where i was reading the 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 double core from halora just healing and counter attack but it's not that good it's kind of like, meh but then i decided to go with this boss uh, okay we should try this boss first see where it goes see if he cannot obliterate us just like that and remember that he has the counter damage and aspen activated and half of our team died and i was like fuck this guy is terrible but that's okay we did three percent on him and i was like okay we still have one one attack left we're gonna use on the boss on the boss on the right boss and i hope in hopes we can do this with this new setup with this setup rearrange and then we managed to do it let's watch the fight right now guys come on and at the end of the video there is an, an extra we're gonna upgrade our team in our temple but let's keep watching this so you guys can check the RNG went so out this time and I put everyone on full defensive mode and even though we didn't have any energy to feed we managed to, to beat the shit out of this this boss because of Halora Halora does gives a little buffs to absorb corruption makes them get more heat and so on and so on but it's still just just look at that the, we actives are starting after the the counter attacks the fights take a little longer because of halor in the front so if you get them she counter attacks and it, it, the, oh my i was like oh my gosh round one round two we did no damage <laughs> we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna make it <laughs> we we simply not gonna make it and then a nice thing happens because we keep this is annoying i hate halora because of this the this pings takes the battlefield to another level of of waiting pings and pings and pings and pings but okay just just look at that aspen's gonna active now he's gonna do his big big pp damage then i knew i was like damn these hospitals stealing attack from this guy and he has full hp with his decimal transition active he did nice damage really nice damage and in hopes we can do even better because every two uh, every two actives he gets the destiny power transition because he it's on active he gets six power and then six power and then he goes inactive no he, he gets six power and then on the next active it powers it powers it if i'm not wrong it's just like that and look at that boys we just need to get to make the boss last a little bit longer and steal its attack and our team needs to survive as you see our shields are running low on pd but then he, she gets shields from from alimak and from our po mff because they give shields you know when we attack or active it gets a little bit of shield so it's kind of good and also the dodges are really good because these minions they hit hard the boss is not much of the problem the problems are the minions because they have a ton of hp and they hit crazy hard but thankfully to the absorb corruption and our damage reduction we saw halar got got locked and most are here to keep not getting locked because they are basic ccs and you can remove the basic ccs and this time the bosses won't come around we are still round 10 and i was like dang can he make this we are round 10 the boss is still alive and we're not gonna make this <laughs> for sure but aspen is in front of the boss and so at DTV goes aspen goes and winks winks everybody and they they are on low hp and i was like oh my gosh aspen needs to hit the right targets here so he can keep sweeping them off like when he kills with his active he did he does a ton of damage but he didn't i was like fuck he did like a somewhat of nice damage to that guy but still he needs to do more damage because without more damage we're not gonna kill these guys and there we are, have like three rounds left 12 and 13 now so they just gonna counter attacks and we're gonna hit them again but he this time i remember that he has definitely transition energy and just watch william just watch william look at that dtv did his job 
and I was like, oh my gosh. Aspen did a chunk of health on that guy. And on round 15, we don't forgive them because we are not forgivers. Go, DTV, go. And I was like, damn, boy, DTV did massive damage to these guys. Yes, we managed to do it on round 14. I know it was kind of late, but a win is a win. And give me those juicy the spirit vein and juicy destiny stuff because we're gonna upgrade our heroes, man. We're gonna go. Let's go. Difficulty 8. I'm gonna try that later because difficulty 7 was already hard enough. We barely, barely, barely made it. So let's put you origin 100. So you can upgrade our temp level. Okay, calm down, chill, chill, chill. Don't, don't, the decent transition. Okay, you see, everyone got the, okay, six. No, I'm not gonna do this. We're gonna do this baby here, Aspen. You see everybody, two, two, and one, one, all right? But look at that, when you put your temple level, you get, I got one divinity power, one more divinity power. So now I need one more, two more chaos. I need two level three, as you see. All guys, I need chaos. You see, all guys got a, a, a destiny star because we upgraded a uh, level. So they went from one to two and two for three. So they kind of the divine power gap is open up. And since we got a lot of the blue stuff, we can upgrade our Aspen guy. And I was like, what the hell did they get the origin level two? But I didn't get the passive. It's just the star effect of the damage boost and the damage dealt. In the damage received but i was like okay right now we're gonna upgrade this guy to chaos and he's gonna go to destiny four he's gonna be four stars four rainbow stars because he got three from the destiny transition plus one from the temple so we got four plus five we got nine i'm excited to go to new highs you know and make it stronger and let's go, let's see where this 80k can get us, I think maybe 20, level 20. Uh, I think a little bit more, maybe 30. Yeah, we're gonna go up to 30. And 27, see, it was good, it was good. Okay, he got way more attack right now. <laughs> That's three, three, my boys. Look at that. He And he's four because of the temple level three, you know. Oh my gosh, we need two of them on Chaos, so it's like, I need to put Elena one more level. Yeah, I need to put like nine, dispense some more on Elena. Jeez, this is gonna take a while, because we are lacking so much the Spirit Vein, but that's okay. That's okay, that's okay, it's okay, not a problem. And thank you guys very much for watching. I wanna apologize if this video was too long, but it was just a showcase showing you guys the different setups on this boss was kind of hard and that's it thank you guys very much for watching i hope i see you guys in the next one and don't forget if there is an, another video here watch it help the channel grow because i want to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year see you guys in the next one bye bye